That's the voice of Paul Rubens as Pee Wee Herman. He passed at the age of 70 yesterday after a bout with cancer. This is a big top Pee Wee music. That's become somewhat famous, I guess. Big top Pee Wee. I didn't like them as much as Big Adventure. Not as good. Yeah, not as good. And you know, I think they should have a special tour of the Alamo today of the basement. Yeah. At the Alamo. Yes. Yeah. Just for Pee Wee. Actually. But. The Alamo put out a statement uh, about his death, saying, you know, our condolences. Uh, they said, to this day, at least once a day, somebody comes up and asks for the basement. <laughs> Referencing. Mm -hmm. And they said, again, awesome. there is no basement in the Alamo. There's a basement below the gift shop. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, I like mm -hmm. that. He brought that to life, of course. Paul Rubens is Pee Wee Herman. And uh, also wanted to update you. You probably have seen it already, but the U.S. tied with uh, Portugal in the Women's World Cup. Zero, zero, nil, nil. They limp forward into uh, elimination play. They are moving on, but I thought they had to win. And when they Same. tie, so, but they are moving on. But they have not been as impressive as you'd hope. One of the thought about Pee Wee Herman, and uh, I, and I don't want. I, I promised I wouldn't get my feelings hurt about this. But yesterday, after the news broke, I went and got Tequila, the song by the Champs. You know where Pee Wee does the big shoe dance oh, on yeah, the that's bar. Oh yeah, that's a big deal, right? I mean, yeah. I, you know, I said it, this changed the way I hear that song forever. When mm -hmm. I hear the opening mm -hmm. bars of mm -hmm. Tequila by the Champs, I see Pee Wee Herman D yeah. on the biker bar, yeah. on the bar doing the dance. Mm -hmm. And I put it up on my social media, and like three people have liked it. I don't know if I'm getting squeezed. Mm -hmm. Only three people? Like yes. It's hurting my feelings. Yeah, you need more likes than that. Listen, mm -hmm. listen. It's all about the algorithms. And what you're doing. Chris Ted don't want to hear that. And you put in a video. Well, that, that makes no sense. Videos, it makes no it, sense. It doesn't make sense. But it's like a video won't, for whatever reason, pop up in as many news feeds on like Facebook as if you had just put a post up. Man, that's unbelievable. Yeah. I think it's got something to do with the business end of it in the aspect that they want you to boost it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They would, pay for it yeah, so that, that more people will see But I'm see not it. a business. No, but they, they don't matters. care. They don't care. I think God's holy name are you talking about? <laughs> they they can't won't, do uh, that. Well, Why don't you just go over to X? Just go over to X. I've been I own X. X. He's on X. Don't worry about it. shoved into X. You shouldn't always... even worry about Meta. Just go over to X <laughs> and be done with it. <laughs> they know? always want, if you, that's why one day, if you put up a post and you get a couple hundred likes on it or something, if you go to immediately put some up the following day, you'll get like a quarter of that. But, but the problem that I've noticed is that this has happened within the last month. I, I could post, you know, I used to like on Throwback Thursday, whatever. Mm -hmm. I just post an old song that I like. And so this is what I listen to on the way to work. Yeah. Just a song I like. Yeah. The yeah. usual amount of people see it. I, I don't know who's, it's getting choked. And you posted the song with it. You're getting, yeah. you're getting Zuckerberg. I'm getting zucked. Yeah, I think you are. You've been well, you're getting zucked, right up. zucked upside one side and down the other. <laughs> you know right. what I haven't done this week is uh, put you all on Instagram. Oh, good. Which the people love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, they do. They love it. They're, people have messaged me. This is their favorite new feature. Yeah. They love it. It's because... <laughs> it's the you, saddest thing I've ever heard. If you put... So I don't know how to do it, because I go on Instagram once in a while now, and I'm seeing on a story, and I can't stop it. And then mm -hmm. Biggie puts it up on his... He's doing yeah. it now. I'm yep, trying right to wave there. it. I'm waving it off. Mm -hmm. I'm waving it off. We don't want that. And Biggie puts it up. You know, Chris did mention this yesterday. The... Um, building is it in san francisco where x is yes yeah. the headquarter building they put up a giant flashing x yes and uh two days ago <laughs> yeah and people are very angry well now. it's already gone because well, uh, <laughs> these were the neighbors complaining about what was going on with x so they had to take it down he came home and tried to watch a movie and it was flashing through this window so bright that even with the shades down it was so distracting you're probably wondering does this go off like every hour, every three hours? No, every 10 to 20 seconds. Something like that should not be on the edge of a building. It's a very windy corner most of the time. And also, if there's an earthquake, it could fall down into the street. That's right. An earthquake would make that San Francisco's, uh, uh, San Franciscans have spoken and... Well, it went up without a permit, mm -hmm. and Musk knew what he was doing, so it's coming down. The X is gone now on top of the X building, which mm -hmm. used to be Twitter. is now. And uh, Chris Tim also sent me something very funny. Uh, it's a, it's a, a copy, a parody of the end of the movie Planet of, Planet the, of the Apes, where you know <laughs> Charlton Heston sees the Statue of Liberty, so he knows. You that, maniacs! Right. <laughs> you finally did it! So, now, so he's on Earth. He didn't realize he's on Earth the, the entire whole time. time. The whole time. That's the big twist at the end of the movie. 
Well, now it's a it's a copy of that famous scene, but instead of the Statue of Liberty, it's the big Twitter bird, <laughs> decaying Twitter bird. <laughs> there, <laughs> classic. Damn Good. you, classic. <laughs> Dirty damn it. I love it. That was very, that was very very fun. I still got Twitter bird on my. Uh, still, do yeah. you really? Mm-hmm. There it is, right there. Mine just showed up overnight mm-hmm. uh, over the weekend. Old uh, oh, Twitter bird. What if yours is so old that it's like I forget it? I don't. I don't, are, you on, are you on consumer cellular? <laughs> No, I am not. Dave, I'd like you to start taking my side on something. You've thought, you thought about it, though, haven't you? Those guys, that's how you know when the commercials start to go. You're yeah. a good rate. Yeah, I need to check that. They can only use it between 5 and 8 in the evening. Yeah. That's all and by I then, you're in bed. That's right. I don't need it anyway. What uh-huh. model jitterbug have you got there? Okay. You, Dave, can only, you can only call people that are over 50. Why do you never take my side when he does these hurtful things? And why don't so you're good. over there? You're over there next to him. You are over there next to him. You're when, sitting right when there. When it pops up on caller ID, it says consumer cellular, too. So <laughs> the person on the other end knows what they're about to deal with. Let me tell you. <laughs> they, yeah. they are turn, you writing this down? They turn down the volume. I am. You don't need it on high with them. <laughs> Let me give you an example. Yeah. Here's an example of uh, something like that. My wife and I last night, I was playing pickleball at 530, okay? And my wife says, uh, I want you to take a shower in the guest uh, shower tonight. Instead, on your way back home? On my way back home. She goes, when you get home, take a shower in the guest bathroom. Because whenever you shower in the master bathroom, the dog gets out of bed and it's a whole big thing and, you know, gets up and runs around. I want you to take a shower in the guest bathroom to just slip into bed. And then the dog won't go as crazy and because she's trying to get some sleep. You like the sound of that plan? No, no. The guest shower is not nearly as good. And I said, that's no, I'm not doing that. And she goes, well, I, I'm going to be asleep. And the dog, and I said, well, why don't you just wait up till I get home? And she goes, that's not until 8.15. I'm not waiting up until 8.15 for you. <laughs> the sun is still up. <laughs> That's right. What time is she getting up in the morning? I get up at 8.15. Well, she gets up early now. She gets up very early. It showers in the guest room where it gets the hose again. What's she feeding chickens? Milk and cows? She just wakes up early. She's an early riser. She gets up at probably 5. And uh, she goes, I'm not waiting up till 8.15 for you. And I said, well, I'm not showering in the guest room. Is it a pressure thing or just a... Is it yes, loud? Yes, it's a... Pr- no, it's a pressure thing. In the in the master bedroom, it's right there next to where the dog is. So the dog's going to get up. No, it's not loud. But it's... I, no, it's a pressure. I much prefer... The it's bigger. Mm-hmm. It's where all my shaving stuff. All is. your utensils yeah. and uh, implements. Yeah, are. all that stuff's in there. All so, your depilatories and yeah, such. Yeah. <laughs> Dane. Got you today, bro. Instead of just sitting there laughing along, <laughs> you know you're duplicitous. You are. You, you, you're like duplicitous in this. He's zucking you. You're duplicitous in this. <laughs> when you just sit there and laugh, it's like you ignore that there's a problem. No. If you well, ignore that, if you ignore, wait a minute. If you ignore the problem the of ages, your, ageism, the problem is you in your ignore, If you ignore the problem, you're part of the problem. He's making, he's winding me up and making sport of me for being old, and I'm not old. I'm not old, huh? Yes, I like. Yes, I do like consumer sale Yes, yes. I have looked into that. Of course, all of those things. Well, all sorry. right, you three, calm down, or I'm tranking you. <laughs> Those old badgers are going at it in the uh, toy room again. I threw him a puzzle out to see if that entertained him, but all right. 